everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel. Today we're trying a brand that I've never tried before. <laughs> I know right? Who am I? What am I? Am I a YouTuber? Can I continue doing YouTube? I don't know. You've seen the title. Yes. Today I'm going to be trying for the first ever time Elf Cosmetics. <laughs> I kind of went on a little bit of a spending spree on their website. They were currently having a 50% off sale. So I kind of want a little bit crazy. Elf's one of those brands that we didn't have in the UK for a long time and when it came to the UK I just thought it was a little bit on the expensive side. <laughs> Considering we have like Makeup Revolution, MUA and Natural Collection, we have a lot of UK based brands that weren't as expensive. So I just never really branched out to them because if their quality was on par, I didn't really see the benefit of spending the extra money, if you know what I mean. But I saw the sale and just kind of caved and <laughs> decided to take advantage of that. I've heard a lot of good things about their eyeshadow palettes, their highlighter palettes, their brushes. Oh, and also the infamous Pussy Primer. So I'm gonna be trying all of this stuff I've got in the box today. I don't quite have a full face, but I'm gonna try as much as I can. Sorry I took last week off, by the way. I don't know if you guys could hear from my voice. But I'm currently getting over a cold, a cough. Like my nose by here is just like bright red from rubbing my nose, which is gross. But I took last week off to try and like rest up. This video is gonna be a bit shredded, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but I really wanted to try these things, so anything for you guys. Anyway, I'm ready to get this stuff on my face but before we get into it if you are new to my channel and you're just now stopping by I hope you decide to stay if you want to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell button so you get notified of my uploads I usually upload twice a week when I'm not you know on my deathbed <laughs> I like to try new brands, try hype products, a few challenges here and there. So if that interests you, just follow along by hitting the subscribe button. If you like these videos with more affordable products, then please leave a thumbs up so I know. I love me some affordable makeup. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna put my hair back because for one, it is very frizzy. And for two, it's annoying me. <laughs> gonna put my little bunny ears on. So first of all, let's see what's in this box because I cannot remember. <laughs> Mainly this is eyeshadow and highlights, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, I've got two primers here. I've got the Beautifully Bare Luminous Matte Makeup Primer with a Kai Berry. And then I've got the e.l.f. Glow Lotion, which is natural glow lotion with aloe in luminous gold. Ooh. Okay, so this is it's a moisturizing lotion, so I might use this because the main primer that I want to try today is the Putty Primer. This guy has had so much high. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I've got a highlighter that looks like a blush. <laughs> so, oh, maybe we could try this for blush. Okay, and then I literally have one, two, three, four eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> These looked interesting to me on the website. They're the eyeshadow duo. I've got Peach Squad and Pink Pal. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to try these because I've also got these two. These were reduced from £10 to £4 each. And if you Tarty talk a lot about these, so I really wanted to try them. I've got the Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette and the Need It Nude, which looks beautiful. And then I've got the Illuminating palette, which is just like a highlighter palette, I'm assuming. And then I've also got the Highlighting Holographic Duo in Mermaid Tail. I don't know why I would have picked this up. I would never have worn these shades. My brain must have been all blurred from the makeup, okay? And then finally, I've got this, which is a spray, which is a Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection Daily Defense Makeup Mist. So is this a primer? I'm confused. It says you can use it throughout the day, under and over makeup, as often as needed. Probably try this as like a setting spray then. I'm gonna take out these brushes so we can have a look. This is a contouring brush. Again, you know when you're like shopping at like 3 a.m. in the morning? I don't know where I'm gonna use this. <laughs> and then I've got a crease brush. I've heard Samantha Ravindal talking about e.l.f. brushes. This actually feels pretty good and pretty sturdy. And also it's almost like a painting brush. It's really thin, soft bristles. Feels good so far. And then I've got a flat eyeliner brush. Again, same component. Feels pretty sturdy but flexible. Okay, I'm ready to get on with this. Are you? <laughs> I feel like you are. That just reminded me of the Radio 1 meme. Are you well? I thought you were. Are you well? Oh, are you well? I thought you were, I thought you were. Okay, so I've had a little gander in what's in the box, so let's zoom you guys in and get on to applying the makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this natural glow lotion. I quite like the packaging of this, it's very simple. Does it twist off? Oh, I thought it was a pump. It confused me. Okay, just gonna shake it up a little. I don't know why. It doesn't say you need to, does it? I've uh, thrown the box, so I don't know. <laughs> Oops. It has a little squeezy tube, so I'm just gonna squeeze it on my face. It has a slight fragrance to it. Shut up! Okay, the birds are going mental again. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my fingers to rub this in. 
it says it has like a golden glow. It feels really nice and lightweight actually. It does have a fragrance though, which it isn't too overpowering, but it's like, why is it that? <laughs> it does have a very subtle golden glow, like nothing too overpowering, nothing like Huda Beauty's, you know, glow illuminizer or anything. But I feel like it's kind of warmed up my complexion just a touch. Yeah. I quite like what that's done to my skin. It just feels hydrated, it feels smooth, feels ready for makeup, and also kind of a little bit glowy. This is actually kind of pretty. Okay, we're off to a good start. Now I want to try this baby. So this is the Paulus Putty Primer. It's got this little jar and it's like a flesh tone. My flesh tone, I guess, you know, pale. I hope this comes out sheerly. If not, how the hell are other people supposed to use it? Doesn't really smell of anything. <laughs> Ooh, wow, okay. So it's like a solid, but when you put your fingers in it, it like melts down. I thought this was gonna be more of like a pore filling primer. It's not really pore filling at all. <laughs> we should, ooh my god, I pushed too hard and then it kind of went all weird. Let me just try scooping a little bit of that up. Maybe it's got like a film over top of it. Let's try and fill in the pores with it. I don't know if I'm using way too much now because of this. I don't know how I feel about this one. It feels a little bit heavier. Maybe it's drying down a little actually. Right, so I can see it's kind of blurred the areas. It's kept the glow coming through. I feel like from things I've watched online, I was led to believe this product was slightly different to what it actually is. I thought it was going to be a little bit more silicone based feeling but it really isn't. It reacts like an oil, like coconut oil. It's solid and then when you touch it it melts to the warmth of your fingers but it doesn't feel oily. It feels more like a thick cream and then you blend it and it goes over the skin. As you can see it hasn't left like a flesh tone cast or anything. It's pretty sheer. It smooths out the skin which I really really like. Now I don't have a foundation, concealer, anything like that to try out so I'm just gonna go in with my traditional one which is the Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. And I'm actually going to try using this contouring brush as a foundation brush. I see a lot of people using brushes like this on Instagram for their foundation, so let's just try it. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this brush does. It's very densely packed, so I imagine I might be able to get like full coverage with it. It feels weird, because <laughs> it's so like dense, it feels really strange just brushing this all over my face. Itchy nose. Nah. Actually, this works pretty well. <laughs> that illuminating base is definitely still coming through. This is applying my foundation pretty nicely. I did not have high hopes. I just thought it was gonna move the product around rather than actually like blend in it, but it's actually doing a pretty good job. Okay, I am a believer. Also, this makes it super easy to take it down the neck because it's so wide. Okay, so my foundation is on. It's looking pretty dewy. <laughs> As you guys know, I do have oily skin, but I love glowy, dewy finishes. My skin just looks healthy which is what I want. The smoothing primer really has smoothed over my skin. I really like that putty primer, but I also like this glowy primer too. <laughs> my skin feels good. This foundation is like a mattifying foundation, um, and I don't see matte anywhere, anyhow. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my concealer powder, and then we'll be back to try the other products. Okay, so I did my concealer powder and put a little bit of bronzer on, because I don't have those products to try, but let's continue. So I bought this highlighter, which is in the color shy. It looks like a blush. Fingers crossed it's not too reflective, but we shall see. Okay, there is a little bit of a sheen to it. We'll see if this is a mistake or not. It's a little bit dusty, but nothing too extreme. Let's put some of this on. Kind of do like a little flush. Okay, it is adding a little bit of a sheen, but I don't mind that in a blush as long as it's not, you know, full on highlight. <laughs> but going with the glowy look today, okay? <laughs> I would consider this more like a blush topper, to be honest. Like if you've put on a matte blush and you want to give it more life, maybe if you use this over top. I'm just going to go over it with my powder brush to maybe dull down a bit of the shine. Pretty blush color, I think. It's like a peachy pink. Considering it's like a sheeny product, I didn't have any patchiness or anything like that. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so for highlight I've got the Illuminating Palette or the Holographic Duo so this is the quad. Again these don't look like highlights at all. <laughs> they just look like face powders like I'm so confused. They're quite hard pressed in there. That's some on my hand there and bear in mind I'm very pale okay. <laughs> Let's have a look at the Holographic Duo. I could get it open. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Again with these they just don't like have a lot of sheen. They don't look like they're gonna be doing anything. These ones feel so much smoother than the quad. These ones have a lot of reflect to them. This bluish one is so pretty but I don't think I'd be wearing it on my face. The white one has like a pink reflect to it which is really pretty. Mm. Not a lot going on though. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this pale yellow on the end here first of all. It's a little bit dusty but nothing crazy. Let's see what it goes like on the skin. Oh. Okay, that was a lot more intense than what I thought it was going to be. 
it's not chunky and it's gone on the skin quite nicely and it buffs out really easily yeah that's actually quite a nice highlight I'm sorry I underestimated you <laughs> it's that kind of wet look which is definitely what I prefer in highlighters I don't usually go for the chunky glittery one unless I'm in the mood <laughs> I usually prefer these kind of highlighters and it just melts into the skin I approve of this quad I'm gonna highlight the rest of my being now do I try this one now I kind of still want to because I like the texture of it it just feels a lot more creamy than what that palette did I think I'm gonna go in a more precision brush and try this on the very high points like right by here yeah, this one's so much more creamier. I do prefer the consistency of this one, but you know, the other one worked as well, so you can't really complain. Yeah, this one's nice too. Again, I don't know how much I'll use it because it is kind of a peculiar color. The blue though is beautiful, and I could see myself using that for a look I have in mind, probably more towards Halloween, but I really love the formula of it. If they have more natural colors in that formula, I would be so down. But yeah. I'm loving my glowy life right now. Okay, now it's time for the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. We're gonna put on a base and let's try these eyeshadows out. Okay, so I quickly primed with my P. Louise base as per usual to give these shadows a good chance. So the two shadow palettes I've got is the Mad for Matte, which is just a neutral matte eyeshadow palette with a few darker, deeper shades. And then I've got the Need It Nude palette, which again, is a nude palette with a few shimmers in there. To me, looking at this eyeshadow palette, I don't think you can make a full look. There isn't really enough matte transition shades in here so I think I am gonna pull from the matte palette let's just try it both of them out and see what they're like I am gonna be trying the brushes as well so we can see how these perform so I'm gonna use the crease brush first of all I'm gonna go into this pinky nude color as my first transition there is quite a bit of kick up in the pan when pushing my brush into that doesn't particularly bother me but just to let you guys know I'm hoping to do kind of like a blown out nude pretty like subtle glam kind of look today let's hope we can do it <laughs> these have a mirror in them as well by the way just tap up the creases and let's go to town okay Ooh, brush is pretty soft that was so much more pigmented than what I thought it was gonna be let's try and blend this a little okay considering I just put a hell of a lot of pigment down this is blended super easily and this brush is quite good wow look at that Okay, I'll gonna come a little bit closer to you guys so you can see what's going on. I'm using such a light hand with this, and this brush handle makes it so easy. Like it's so thin and petite, and I can just lightly hold it. This is the perfect color for the look that I want to do. Now I'm thinking about doing one of those natural beat, soft beat kind of looks. Because every single one on Instagram, the girls are freaking gorgeous, but they're never my skin tone. So the products that work on them and make them look natural won't work on my skin color at all. So I was thinking about maybe trying it myself and seeing if I could do like a natural beat for pale girls. Every girl on Instagram who does it just looks amazing <laughs> and I want a piece of that okay. Just using the same color on the same brush and I'm just gonna brush this right underneath my eye because again I want to do like that soft blown out look. My camera is struggling today okay I don't know what's going on. It is struggling to focus so I'm sorry bear with me. Sorry guys I'm like close to you far away from you all right we need to all right so i'm trying manual focus because literally it is flipping out on me today i think it may be the lighting i'm still in the same shade by the way <laughs> i haven't changed yet i'm gonna go in with the slightly lighter shade from the nude palette again it's still pretty dusty same kind of consistency and i'm just gonna soften the edges a little bit I love this kind of like effortless, soft, smoky makeup. I'm still using the same brush, by the way, to do this. Why am I orange? What's going on with the lighting? Okay, I think we're back to normal lighting now. Don't know what was happening there. To smoke this out a little more, I'm gonna go into this matte warm brown. Oh, a lot of pigment comes out on these colors. Just taking it on the side of the brush, I'm just gonna pat this onto the outer corner. Again, I'm just using the same brush. <laughs> I really like the shade. These blend out so well. Are you seeing this? <laughs> this is so nice. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love these eyeshadows. Pigment on these are right. The blendability is right. Like, these are so good. Look at the blend. Oh my gosh. The matte so far on the brush so user friendly. I'm gonna quickly draw this on the other eye and then I'm gonna cut my crease and then we'll try some of the shimmers and see how they perform. I'll be right back. Okay, so I quickly done my other eye, cut my crease with my P. Louise base and now I really wanna try some of these shimmers. I wanna try them first of all completely dry. So I'm gonna go in with this kind of champagne-y color. Okay, so this doesn't seem powdery, which is good. I'm just gonna feel it. Ooh, that looks pretty. I'm just taking this on a little flat brush. This is the Beauty Bay Shade Out brush. I'm just gonna apply this to the inner 
part of my eye. It's giving me a little something. I quite like the texture of it. It kind of like melts into your skin. So that right there is what it looks like dry. I'm gonna try it wet, see if that helps it. Let's give this a go. Okay, I think that's helped the pigment a little bit more, but the sheen still isn't crazy metallic. It does look pretty though. Okay, I wanna try a different color. I wanna go in with this kind of peachy rose gold color. I'm gonna wet this one again. I'm gonna put this on the center of the lid and kind of, ooh, wow, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna like melt it into the champagne color that we've used. Dang, this is a glorious color. I friggin' love that, oh my gosh. No words, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Again, they're not the most metallic shadows. Like I love a real glass looking eyeshadow. <laughs> they give off a really pretty sheen to the lid. I kind of want to try this brown in this eyeshadow palette. It has a little bit of glitter. So I'm wondering if I put it on the outer corner, whether it'll look nice. Uh, we'll just try it while we're here. Kind of deepen up the look a little. I'm gonna try patting this on with the same brush. <laughs> this made this look a little bit more intense, but it's fine. I'm just gonna use the blending brush. Blend out the edges a little so we get a nice seamless blend. Okay, so the glitter doesn't really come off on the eyes. There may be like a slight little bit of it, but to me it hasn't done too much. It's just added a little bit of depth. I wanna deepen up the lash line a little bit more. So I'm gonna take the flat brush that I got from Elle and I'm gonna take this very, very dark brown. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use it and stamp the colors. So I just have a little bit of smokiness at the lash line. I'm gonna use this same flat brush and I'm gonna define the lower lash line a little bit more with the medium brown we used. And then I'm just taking the blending brush and just Blending it out a little bit. Considering how dusty some of the shades were, I haven't got any fallout at all. I can't believe I've been sleeping on these eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna go ahead, finish off my other eye off camera, and then we've only got one more product to try. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so I finished up my eyes, added a lip, and now it's time to try the final product, which is the Beauty Shield. Okay. <laughs> That was rude, but whatever. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. I really like the basic packaging. Okay, let's first of all, Test the spritzer, most important thing about a spray. Ooh, hmm. Ooh, I think that has a scent to it. Very subtle. The mist seems quite nice. Mmm, it yeah, smells really good. I have a feeling that this is gonna be one of those spritzers though that looks fine, but actually is quite a lot. You know that annoying rain that doesn't look like it's gonna be heavy? Then you walk out in it and you get absolutely drenched and you're just like, how? <laughs> so let's just spray this on. Whoa. Yeah, see, it's quite aggressive. <laughs> it smells really good though. Let's dry this off. You know, it's weird. I've had a lot of products that have been like smelling the same. And I don't know if it's like the ingredients that are being used uh, have similar scents. But this one smells like the L'Oreal Shake and Glow and also the Maybelline foundation that I recently tried, the Urban Cover, which is pleasant and it's not, you know, overpowering or anything, but it's just weird that they all smell very similar. <laughs> so that helps everything, you know, just mold together really nicely. I'm really liking my makeup today. I'm having a really good makeup day. I especially love the eye makeup. Okay, so that is everything tried and tested. Let's zoom you guys out and go through the product, discuss my final thoughts and everything. Some of these products have kind of blown my mind a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't try them sooner. So let's talk about it. My hair is annoying me. It's all frizzy and curly slightly. I don't know what's going on. Please ignore it. So let's go through the products. So the first of all, the primers. I was really impressed by them. Obviously this is more like a glowy moisturizer. I liked it. If I was to use more of like a sheer coverage foundation, I think it would have come through a lot more. It did kind of die out when I put the powder on and everything. There's still like a subtle glow coming through, but I did quite like this. It wasn't overpowering and it felt nice and light on the skin. The putty primer, again, it's just an interesting consistency and I do like it and it really smooth out my skin. I will be using this one a little bit more. I do feel like it hydrated but also filled in and smoothed my pores. Like I love the way my skin looks right now. I look really like flawless and fresh face and like my skin doesn't look makeup-y. I really really dig these two primers. They were really good. Now this highlighter which I use as a blush. I feel like maybe on darker skin tones it would be better for a highlighter but as a blush I feel like it worked pretty well. It's still on my skin. It still looks really pretty. I just wouldn't really call this like a highlighter. It's more powdery. It does have a subtle sheen but it's not really gonna add that 
much to your skin. It wasn't patchy, it didn't grab at all, it blended really easily. I think I'll use this as like a blush topper or just a blush alone. I just dulled down the sheen with a bit of powder from my powder brush. Like I didn't add any more product, I just went over with the excess. And it looks like a really natural looking blush. I really, I really like it. As far as the highlighter quad and the highlighter duo, as I said, I prefer the duo formula because it's more creamy and it feels really good and it melts into your skin a little bit better, but this quad here, I can't really fault it. It's a really pretty looking highlighter that melted into my skin. Even though it was a little bit more powdery, it had a little bit more kick up. I didn't really see that in the application. Like feeling them and looking at them, they just don't look that impressive. But on the skin, they're really nice. I do really like this blue color. I just don't know when I'm gonna use it. I may do a little bit more of artistic makeup and incorporate that somehow. But apart from that though, the formula is really good. They are very different but both perform well, so I can't really fault them. The brushes, they are really good actually. They're really good quality. This contour brush does have a few brush hairs that are slightly longer than the other, but you can just clip them down and then, you know, you'll be fine. Sometimes that happens with higher end brushes as well. But apart from that, when I was putting on my foundation with this, I haven't had any brush hairs come out or anything like that, you know? And I really love these. These feel more like paint brushes in your hand. I love that because makeup can be considered an art form. It's just the ease of application. You just feel like these are really easy to hold. I really like the blending brush. It's very soft and easy to work with. And also this little flat definer brush. It has a little bit of give, but it is quite densely packed in there. So you've got a lot of control, which I appreciate. I use this on my eyes and then I also wiped it off and use it to define my lipstick a little bit because I drew as I had the lines. It worked well for that as well. One of these is good to have in your arsenal just because of cleaning up anything, using it for eyeliner, smudging out eyeliner. Like it's a really good tool to have. I'll be using these a lot. I know I will. And and what I think was the star of the show were these eyeshadow palettes. The metallics are beautiful, they layer really well, and they give a really nice sheen with or without being damp. And the mattes, man, they are really blendable, really pigmented, and they pick up really easily on the brush. You don't get a lot of fallout. Considering I bought these for £4 each, I consider them a bargain. I think I would pay £10. Now that I know the quality, now I know how they work. Obviously, I didn't use every single colour because I've only got one pair of eyes, but the colours that I did use, I'm thoroughly impressed with. They look really, really pretty. The only kind of critique that I have is with the nude palettes. There isn't really a lot of transition shades. I wish they just had like one soft warm brown or something to go in here. If these two shades from the matte palette were in this one, I feel like the palette would look more complete then. But apart from that, the formula, the blendability, everything else was amazing. Finally, the Beauty Shield. The mist was nice. Comes out a little bit aggressive, but it smells really good and it feels really good. It got rid of the powdery excess that can be left on the skin. Obviously, I don't know if it's going to help my makeup last longer. But it doesn't claim to do that. It's just like a beauty shield, which you can top up throughout the day, use before after makeup. So I'm not expecting it to make my makeup last longer, but it feels good on the skin. And if it protects my skin from all the harms of the universe, <laughs> then I'm down. Okay, so that is it for this video. I'm really honestly pleasantly surprised with these products and some of them are going on my top shelves for me to play around with. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you were curious about any of these products, I hope this helped you out a little bit. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see my future uploads. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. I hope you're having a wonderful day where you are in the world and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys! These looked interesting to me. Oh god. I just, oh my god. I just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my brain's not working. Again, they're not the most... Again, they're not... <laughs> I like a shooting star I can go the distance No face to fear how do I do this right? Okay.